Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well on this holiday weekend. I know a lot of you got snow and got stuck in traffic, so hopefully that didn't ruin your holiday plans. We've been looking at the new update that we got, uh, I guess it was ye early yesterday morning, and one of the new features that's available in 2017.50, not just 2017.50.2 that we got yesterday morning with the new Easter egg, is the ability to precondition your battery. And basically that allows the battery to get up to a proper operating temperature before you start driving, so then you won't have any loss of regen whenever you're, you're driving around in cold weather. So the way we tested this out this morning is I left my car out of the garage. Normally if I leave in the garage, the car doesn't really get below like 50 degrees. And uh, we haven't seen the preconditioning feature displaying in the app yet. So basically we've left the car out all night. It is currently 15 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Slightly warmer than that in the car because I turned on the climate uh, remotely to preheat the car slightly just when we're sitting in here this morning. But if basically if you look at the app, you can see that the interior... 37 degrees it just says interior 38 degrees if say turn on and you give it a minute we we tried it earlier for a few seconds we didn't notice anything showing up but if you let it run for it depends sometimes a minute sometimes it takes uh, maybe 30 seconds but eventually you should see an option here pop up showing that it is actually preconditioning the battery to get it to up to the proper operating temperature one thing that we noticed is that the pre-conditioning icon shows up whether you're plugged in or not. Again, it does seem to take a while before it shows up. Uh, I, for example, I've just plugged in the car and we can see that it's at 32 amps, 229, 228 volts, so a little low there, but it's showing that zero miles per hour being added to the battery is because it's using all that power right now to go directly into pre-conditioning and warming up the battery preparing it for a charge. When I started the app earlier, we turned on the climate to start preheating the car, and after about a minute or so, a little icon showed up which indicated it is preconditioning the battery. Since then, uh, we closed the app and come back to it, and the icon is missing, so I don't know if that's a, a bug in the app or something, but the car is definitely um, preheating the battery. It's not charging. And again, if we check the climate, the interior of the car definitely hit it up. We're up to 58 degrees already, but the icon hasn't reappeared. So it seems to be something that shows up once, but uh, isn't showing back up now. Could it be because we're in the car and it senses people in the car? Could be, yeah. So, so let's get out. Yeah, that's that might be a good uh, observation right there. It's like if you're in the car, hmm, that's good. Let's try it. A few moments later. It's weird how it was showing up earlier and then sitting in the car for 20 minutes and it, and it doesn't show up. So we got out of the car. And it, look, it just sh showed up. So now we can see the little icon there showing that it's preconditioning the battery. And what's odd is that didn't pop up for the 20 minutes we were in there. But before it showed up within a minute, but from when we were sitting in the car, it goes away. So you want to hold this while I go sit in the car and see if it goes away? Yeah. I mean... Okay, he's going to sit in his car. Did, Did you close the door? Yep. Yeah, it came back on. So, so it I... only comes on when no one's actually in the car. That seemed like a bug to me. I don't know why you wouldn't want that icon there. Because it was clearly doing it. Yeah, it was. we could definitely see that it was doing it. So, I don't know. They definitely are taking into account the seat sensors. It doesn't really make any sense to me why you would not show that icon there. It's Again, it's a new feature. Uh, you know. And it's just to indicate, it doesn't affect the functionality. It just display, displays in your phone app. And I guess if you're in your car... You know what's going on, but yeah. So again, it's a new feature, it definitely works. Maybe a little quirky on the display within the app. The new preconditioning feature does show up in the app as long as you're not in the car. So it runs for about an hour or so, and then when you start driving, you won't have that loss of regen. So that's it, just a quick video today to show the new battery preconditioning feature. Hopefully you find it useful. For those of you who have a new Tesla under the tree, this, this, well, I guess you're not getting a Tesla under the tree, but hopefully a lot of you guys got new Teslas for Christmas. If you are still looking for a Tesla, remember that you can still use the referral codes that we have available on our website in order to get free supercharging for as long as you own your car. Just visit our website, teslainventory.com, and you can use it on any inventory car that's listed. You can also use it on any brand new car that you use that you configure at Tesla. Tesla's design studio, whether a Model S or a Model X, unfortunately it's not available for a Model 3. So I hope you, again that you liked the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Feel free to click here to subscribe, click here to watch some of our other videos, and we will be seeing you in the next video. Thanks. I was just an only child.